Hey guys, what's happening? So, just picked up this tack and doing some stuff in here. The cheapest tack I could find on Amazon. And what I wanted to know was, I wanted to actually actually gauge, gauge the speed of the, my spindles here. Even though I, I kind of generally know what it is. On that one, I'm definitely pretty confident, but I want to confirm with the external tachometer. And this is what I have here. I actually had it for a couple months. I forgot about it, but I actually need to. Uh, I want to figure out what my actual spindles are spinning at. So I think this thing was like 14 bucks. Put a link down below. Sorry, I'm 3D printing over here. That's what the background noise is. So it's a little tack. I don't know how accurate it would be. I wonder actually how it, what it does to determine um, you know, what the speed is. Like what's it referencing? How is it actually getting infrared? Like how does it know revolution? Like where is the spot? What, what does it have to do? Does it find like a point on the thing spinning around? And, and like, I don't know, no idea. But the cool thing is on, on my lathe, um, I actually have a tack that I built onto it, so this will actually this actually tells me what the what the what the speed is. So I can at least actually kind of like use that as a reference to see how accurate this thing actually is. Now on the mill, um, there's actually like a uh, a chart, you know, the where where you have the belt pulleys. So I'm kind of kind of I should be in that range. I mean the motor I think is like 1700 RPM. So this should be pretty accurate with this. Most single phase uh, motors like this are actually about 1700 RPM. Um, so I have in the max setting, so I'm guessing this one should be around um, 2500 RPM. Yeah, the motor can barely pull that too. It's, I need a big, actually a bigger motor for this thing. At least, well, at the low speeds it's fine, but the high speeds it has issues. You know what I mean? Starting that, but once it gets going, you know, but if you spring, if you start cutting something big, it, it will uh, drag down the motor. All right, so let me put some batteries in this thing and we'll get it going. All right, so let's take some nine volt battery. Okay, so what size polarity? I look at the polarity on this thing. Laser. <laughs> That's cool. Actually, I didn't even know I had a laser. Okay, cool. Put that back on there. Okay. Alright, well, I'm glad there's not so many buttons where it's giving me a headache to try to figure out how this thing works. Okay, so this is how they're doing it. I was kind of wondering, so how the hell is it going to just pick up a random spot? Um, so it comes with this reflective tape. Um, Yeah, I was going to say, just like with any sort of like, usually some kind of optical or howl effect sensor, you need some sort of like source. So this is actually the source. Okay. So I can cut a little piece off. Make sure not reflect the sources. So just a little piece of tape. Hopefully that works. We'll see if it works. I kind of don't like the fact that I need an extra part. So I would need to store that tape somewhere, you know. I was hoping it would just be like a contained unit, but... You know, it needs some sort of reflective material. Alright, so I'm going to fire these up. Get the power going on them. Right, be back. Now, with a Sugami lathe, it has like this unusual... Um, I forget the, the name of the belt, but it's an adjustable belt. Um, when you turn and you can change the RPM, so it's not exactly 100% synced with this thing in here. So if I tell it to go 500 RPM, it doesn't go to 500 RPM. I can tell with the with the sensor. So let me, uh, I'll get this fired up. All right, so I got the thing in my hand. All right, so this is my Mach 3. I'm running a smooth stepper with this one. So I have it set to do 500 RPM. 
and this is the true RPM. That's actually what it truly is doing, at least what, I, what my sensor is picking up. All right, so 391, 391. So if I were to mess with this right here, I could change that. Let's see. Wow. That's really accurate. That's directly lined up with my sensor right there. So I think this thing actually works. So let's try the uh, the CNC machine or the, the, uh, the mill. Intro. This is a CR10 500S or 5S. I'm working on for a customer. All right. So all right. Here we go. Fire Mach 3. I actually haven't done a full review video of this my build here with this thing yet, but that will be coming up. All right. So let's see. It's a Digital Dream EC300. Okay. Stop. And we'll just do spin one. So there is no RPM control. I don't have a VFT. It's either on or off. And the speed is controlled by the uh, belt. say that's pretty accurate because it was supposed to be 2500 rpm and I mean there's a lot of variations you can have with belts you know belt length and the how thick the belt is you know so it's going to change the amount of rpm so that's that's pretty close um, yeah it's pretty cheap I'll put a link down below it's like 14 15 bucks but I think it works cool yeah now I actually truly know what it's spinning at I was kind of wondering mainly this machine not that machine but um, all right, cool. So I, uh, oh, I'm going to be cutting different material. So I wanted to make sure the RPM range was in the correct range. All right, guys, cool.